Hello everyone, hello! Sasserai here with my second ever playthrough of Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World. I remember liking this game uh, when I first played it. Not as much as the first one, but you know, now that I've replayed the first one, uh, maybe I'll have a new appreciation for this overall. Um, I say new appreciation, like I said, I didn't, I didn't dislike it, so. Um, but yeah, maybe that'll change. Maybe I'll actually dislike it this time. We'll see. But since I remember liking the game, let's hop in and uh, play it. Long ago, the giant Carlon tree, the essence of balance and order in the world, withered and died. By the will of the heavens, the world was cleaved in two. I don't know if that was the heavens. Many years later, the Chosen of Regeneration planted a new world tree to take the place of the withered giant Carlon tree. Kind of a dumbed-down version of it, but yes. The birth of the new world tree also brought about the unification of Silver and Fantasia. The two worlds were now reborn as one. Wow, that music! Holy crap! Okay, might have to. The world was at the dawn of a bright new era, or so it seemed. I have to lower the music again and increase the, uh, or increase the, uh, voice audio. With their high level of technological prowess, the Tetha Alan civilization looked down upon the people of Silverant as barbarians. The Silveranti blamed the Chosen of Regeneration for bringing this world into being, as they turned their backs on the Church of Martell that supported her. Amidst all of this chaos, the world itself began to cry out. Deserts were blanketed with snow. Bountiful lakes dried up and withered. Forests burned to ash as glaciers melted into the sea. These phenomena fanned the flames of dissatisfaction within the hearts of the people, leading to the birth of a monster. A resistance organization was formed by the oppressed people of Silverant to defend themselves. United against the perceived evils of Tetha Allah and the Church of Martell, they called themselves the Silverant Liberation Front, the Vanguard. Okay. This way! Hurry! Yes. Emil, hurry! We must get away or we'll all be killed by Lloyd! Who did you say is going to kill you? Lloyd Irving! The people of Palma Costa have aided the Vanguard and undermined the authority of the Church of Martell and the Chosen. The punishment for this crime is death! <laughs> Emil, run! Get away from here! 
His dad threw his mom in front of the blades. Just so he could yell at Emil first. Yeah, hey, we're gonna be altering the volume, don't worry guys. Once I get a chance. World in Discord. That's the current world right now. The current gaming world. He just went back to his bed. Right. Oh, my controller turned off again. <laughs> There you go. That howl. I feel like I've heard it before. Maybe it's just my imagination. set the music to 20 and sound effects to 20. Uh, if you guys think these need to be raised or lowered, let me know. Again, this happens every time with the PS3. I don't know why. It's probably going to reset itself every stream, so I need to like write those down or something. Hang on. Let me, let me do this. Let, let's just do, 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 do this. We'll take a picture of it, that way I can just easily just go back up to it. Alright. We got Arts. He knows nothing. Equipment. 
He has a bronze sword and a leather plate. I do like the design of the weapons in this. Strutted long sword, favored by sailors. Breastplate made of leather, the basic armor of all beginning adventures. Item strategy. You got your standard like look here. Oh, here's Emil. This is our main character. His title is Timid Boy. Always afraid and timid, an introvert that can't speak his mind. It seems pretty responsive. That's good. Good morning, Aunt Flora. That how? Monsters have been going down into the lake bed since dawn. I I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Uh Despicable child, always so indecisive. You're hardly like Lana at all. You must take after Raysol. I'm sorry. Alright, so, what was established in uh, Dawn of the New World is everyone in the world became assholes after the New World was formed, and uh, Aunt Flora is an asshole. Stop moping around and getting in my way. Go back to your room. Okay, I'm sorry. Dude, where does she sleep? There's only this room. I guess she sleeps here. There's that howl again. It sounds like it's coming from the Fountain Plaza. Do you hear howls like this ever? Things sure have been rough lately with all the monsters finding their way into town. It's probably all you're doing. What? Hey, Emil, are you in the Vanguard? You're Lloyd's enemy, right? I thought we'd find peace when the worlds were merged, but now there are strange disasters happening all over the world. Alright, so it seems like the people of Lewin all hate Emil as well. Good to know. One sec, guys. Oh! You're still alive? Thanks, kid. What do you want? Stay away from me. Okay. I forgot the Wonder Shop's a thing in this. You just window shopping or what? An orthodox spinner that is light and easy to handle. Interesting. A cloak made from regular cloth. Slightly better than normal clothing. A bandana made from cloth. Uh, I don't know if we have any money. Oh, we do have money. Okay. A cute ribbon of oh, crisp red. A beautiful ribbon of vivacious blue. Normal gauntlets with no distinct, uh, distinguishing features. Gloves made from knitted yarn. They are thin and provide little defense. Alright, I kind of want to buy this bandana, but at the same time, I kind of want to save the four gold and just get that, so... Wait. Oh, cool, you can actually just make... Why does it cost money if... Are you here to shoplift something? Man, everybody in this village hates him. What the fuck? That's the statue of Lady Sheena, a friend of Lloyd the Great's. It is Sheena. Lloyd the Great will bring justice to scum like you. What? I don't have anything to say to a vanguard worshipper like you. It's the Statue of Rain, one of Lloyd's companions. They say she's incredibly wise, quite unlike you. Don't talk to me, you're bothering me. Oh, wait, these people say other things. The enemy of the, gra uh, 
An enemy of Lloyd the Great is an enemy of mine, too. Why? Were you planning to vandalize the statue? They're a right foul bunch, and you're, you're among the worst. Okay, what? Your hostility towards Lloyd and the Great, the Great is the reason the townspeople won't accept you. Repent your anger and offer thanks to Lloyd the Great. This is so weird after playing the first game. Our world was once divided into two worlds, Silverant and Tetheala. It was the world's chosen of regeneration, Colette, who merged those two worlds. Hey, Vector. Welcome. We're playing Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. I forget, have you played this one? I need you guys to let me know if I need to adjust the volume at any point, okay? So far, we've been having some issues. What do you want? This is the mayor's house. Who do you think you are, just strolling up like you own the place? I have no idea why the mayor lets you stay in this town. Don't talk to me in public. I don't want people to think I'm friendly to you. Oh. oh okay. A generic cape made of cloth. A pair of boots made of cloth. A gem, blessed by the summoned spirit of water. Prevents accidents at sea. Also, 32,000 gold. Alright. Yeah, okay. Cool. Monsters again? The town is still rebuilding. What are we gonna do? How can we stop these monsters from getting the, destroying the town? I think I'm getting a migraine. Well, how are you doing today, Vector? How was your Thursday? Ten Gage, how was your Thursday? What'd you guys get up to? I did my work meeting, I slept a bunch, and then I played uh, Dragon Quest Infinity Strash. You've got a face that says you bring trouble. Keep away from me. I don't want to hit your cloud of misery anywhere near me. Didn't I just tell you to keep away from me? The last thing I need right now is to see your miserable face. You only remind me of how my business has been tanked since the lake dried out. My heart goes out to poor Alba and Flora for having to take in a wretch like you. Oh. Okay. Who's that? You were busy at work and then took your wife to a doctor's appointment? Just a general checkup or? More serious appointment. Lloyd. Hey, Emil, we saw that. Bow to Lloyd the Great. I, I already did. No, no you, you didn't. didn't. You don't like Lloyd the Great, do you? That's why you're trying to destroy our city. Because Lloyd restored it to its former beauty. What, what are you talking about? Don't, Don't act dumb. dumb. Ever since you came here, Lake Sanoa's dried up and there are more monsters. You're planning on getting your monster friends to attack the town, aren't you? Uh, of course not. Okay, then prove it. What? Swear your allegiance to Lloyd the Great right now. If you do that, then we'll believe you. Come, Come on, on, let's, let's hear, hear it. it. Fuck you. <laughs> What's the matter? Swear it! <laughs> no, I won't. Lloyd killed my parents, and I'll never swear allegiance to that murderer! We heard that. So that's how you really feel, huh? N no. That's not what I meant to say. Shut up, you monster! We'll teach you a lesson! Get lost. Who the hell are you? I said go! I even turned the music down. So. I am. Yeah. 
you, you are. Yes? What is it? Never mind. You know, you should stand up for yourself. I... I was too scared to even thank him for that. Maybe that's why I haven't been able to make any friends. I... I wish I had friends, but I guess... I guess that'll never happen. Never mind. You know, you should stand up for yourself. I like how he gave us a flashback of something that literally just happened. Stand up for myself. He's right. I should thank him for helping me out the way he did. That's what I'll do. Oh, it's bad luck, Emil. Mom will get mad at me if I talk to you. The man with red hair? No, I haven't seen him. Life's gotten so much harder since Lake Sonoma dried up. It's all because you brought those monsters here. I did see a man with red hair cross the bridge a short while ago. Why do you ask? Why are you so interested in him? Emil, are you the one who's bringing all these monsters here? Lloyd the Great is a hero who, to the people of this town. People who don't respect him aren't welcome here. Did you hear what I said? I'm telling you to leave. That man crossed the bridge already. Guess his business here is done. What is it? Maybe this was a bad idea. If you've got nothing to say, then I've got something to ask you. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So they said that your name is Emil. Well, Emil, have you seen a girl around here with a red jewel on her forehead? What? Uh, I, um... No, sir. What are you so nervous about? Uh, I, uh... Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Huh? Their words, a human with a few screws loose said long ago. When you refused to swear allegiance to Lloyd, didn't you feel courage welling up inside of you? Those who would grovel and beg, or run away at the first sight of another's anger, are dogs, or even worse. Are you a dog, or are you really a man? I... I'm... uh... <laughs> Just try to do your best to be a man, Emil. That man carrying a pan on his back? Like a frying pan? Courage. The magic that turns dreams into reality. Courage. I'm not a monster. I need to stand up like a human being. Oh, we have these again, yes. That guy was really amazing. And the voice. Are you a dog or are you really a man? 
I could never say anything like that to someone. They'd only get angry at me. Uh, wait, maybe I should have gotten angry at him. Sounds like it's coming from the lake bed. What should I do? I want to know what it is, but I'd be leaving town to go down there. Aunt Flora will get mad if I leave without permission. What could it be? Bob Dole. Alright guys, should we uh, piss off Aunt Flora? Let's go see what Aunt Flora has to say. Why do I feel like monsters are calling me? It's because of stuff like this that make people say it's my fault that monsters keep appearing. I've got to ignore it. It's just my imagination. But it's so hard to ignore. That's enough. Go to your room and behave. If I want to go to the Sanoa Lake bed, I need to leave town. I've never gone outside town on my own. W wonder if I'll be all right. You won't Mom, be. Please make sure I don't run into any monsters. You will. All right, well, before we leave town here, guys, we're going to take our first break. Okay. Alba, what is it? Is something wrong? Uh, Uncle Alba. <laughs> what do you want? Get the hell out of here, you little nuisance. I'm sorry. Always getting in the way. Just go home and stay out of trouble. Just the sight of you puts the whole town in distress. Forget about the vanguard-loving Brad Alba. Did something happen? Monsters I've never seen before showed up in Lake Sanoa's lake bed. Several members of the City Watch are down. Wh what? I'm going to gather reinforcements. Go tell the mayor what happened. Right. That howl again. If I go now, I could make it down to the lake bed. But everyone will get mad at me. Those who would grovel and beg, or run away at the first sight of another's anger, are dogs, or even worse. Dogs usually run away at the first sign of another's anger. I don't think dogs I'll do. go. I'm not a dog. I'm a human being. Alright, let's take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 